So today, what we are going to show here is an example on how to find the derivative using its definition. But before we move on to the specific example, we have to recall first the definition of the derivative that is given by this formula. f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0. So we have to take note of this, that this is the formula for finding the derivative using its definition. So for example, if you are given a function, let's say f of x is equal to 3 over x, and we are asked to find, find the derivative, derivative of the given function function f so find the derivative of the given function so all we have to do is just to follow this formula so to answer this problem we have f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h so all we have to do is just to follow this one f of x over h as h approaches 0. So we have to take note that the formula is our guide. So all we have to do is to follow this one. So limit, what is f of x plus h? This means that um, the variable x in the given function f will be added by h. So all you have to do, h will be added to this x here. So, f of x plus h becomes 3 over x plus h minus f of x. What is f of x here? The f of x is 3 over x. So, you just copy 3 over x and follow that there is h here. Then, as h approaches 0. Now, take note that we need to simplify the numerator. And the numerator, the main numerator of this whole expression is are also fractions so in order to combine this one let us um, going to follow the rule in subtracting the fractions so since we have different quantities in the denominator x plus h and x all we have to do is to find the LCD now the LCD here simply is a product of x plus h and x so this becomes um, LCD x plus h times x so there is, do not forget that there is h here so this one perform the operation of finding the difference between these two expressions so this becomes x plus h times x divided by x plus h the answer would be x then this will be multiplied to the uh, numerator 3 so this becomes 3x now these expressions will be divided by x here so since x is common to this expression and this expression so what is left is x plus h so x plus h times 3 this becomes 3 times x plus h do not forget as h approaches 0 okay now we need to simplify this whole numerator this becomes limit 3x minus 3x minus 3h over so since um, multiplication is commutative so since for me it is good to see that x will be here so i will write x instead of in here in this side x plus h and since this expression is divided by h so the rule of fraction is to multiply this one by its um, reciprocal because we are dividing this expression by h so we need to uh, we need to multiply this one by its reciprocal h so what is the reciprocal of h is 1 over h so this is the new expression as h approaches 0 okay now take note that 3x minus 3x this will be 0 so this becomes 
limit of negative 3h over x times x plus h and there is still h here so as h approaches 0. Now since um, we have h common a uh, common variable here is h and there is h also here so that means this is equal to 1 so this is 1 so the new expression becomes limit of negative 3 over x times quantity of x plus h as h approaches 0 so when we discuss the uh, concept of limit, all we have to do is to get the limit of the numerator and also the limit of the denominator. So the rule says that the limit of the constant is constant. So this becomes negative 3. And the limit of this expression as h approaches 0, this will become 0. So this becomes x squared. In other words, the derivative of the given function uh, 3 over x is um, this one, which is negative 3 over x squared. So this is now the derivative of the given function 3 over x. So this is the derivative of the given function 3 over h. Now, specifically, if there is another problem that asks for a specific um, derivative at a certain value of x let's say at x is equal to uh, x is equal to 2 for example so what will be the derivative at x is equal to 2 so all we have to do is just to substitute this value to the um, by the way this is the slow predictor formula so this is to in order to know the derivative of the given function at x is equal to 2, you need to um, substitute this one to the, the slope predictor formula. This is f prime of 2. So we have negative 3 over 2, 2. This is negative 3 over 4. That is f prime of 2. In other words, since the derivative is also interpreted as the slope of the tangent line so that means this is the slope of the tangent line on the curve 3 over x at a particular point that is at x is equal to 2 so that's it this is how to get the derivative of the given function again recall you need to follow this formula Okay, this is the formula. So whatever the given function, as long as you know this formula, you will be able to get the derivative of the given function. So in order for me to know whether you really understood my discussion, so I want you to, um, to answer this exercise for those who are very interested to, uh, to answer this specific problem. So we have an exercise and you can just comment your answers in the comment section and I will really appreciate it and also um, give feedback to your answers. So the exercise is um, use the definition. So exercise, use the definition definition to find the derivative of f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c okay sorry for that ax squared plus bx plus c for all okay for all x for all x in the domain where a b and c c are constants not equal to zero 
So take note of the problem that A, B, and C, you treat that one as constants, not equal to zero. Okay, are you now ready, my viewers? So if you are interested to solve this problem, just comment your answer on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this video and you re and you really appreciate this one. And I'm hoping that you can also um, share your knowledge that you got from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. God bless.